February 3rd, 2023. February 3rd, 2023. Uh, my thoughts are very random today. Um, today was the first day I saw the, um, the balloon that, you know, people are, um, seeing that China has put a surveillance balloon above America. Um. First thoughts that come to my mind is, you know, how is America going to handle this? You know, the already, the already gangster America. Does this gangster handle now handle things politically? Do you have to? My health advice today, man, is uh, sitting is the new smoking. I don't know if people already know about this, but this sedentary lifestyle, man, is is one that I'm living currently, and it is not fun not fun because it just zaps your uh, stamina it's it's like a kryptonite you know and as much as you can you want to do cardio um, ride bikes walk I do a, a little bit of walking and You know, that feels good. Um, But man, I'll be standing up and it's just bad. Sitting for long periods of time, it's just not good for the body, man, at all. It, at least, you know, for my body, you know, It, it seems like it's the the route that leads to body breakdown. It's the path that leads to your body breaking down. You know, because, you know, sitting around, that's the opposite of working out. So it, it makes sense to me. Um, but random thoughts... thoughts, man. I'm always curious about the after effects of um, what was pushed in 2020-2021 the thing that was practically forced on people I'm, I'm very curious about the after effects of those um I'll go into that. I'll go into that. Um, and this this may potentially be controversial, but these are my thoughts. Um, I like to consider myself a free thinker, and. 
and um, I'm one who questions everything. I question everything. There's no entity on the planet that can sell something to me without me checking it out. You know what I mean? The question mark doesn't have to be a big red one with an exclamation point at the end of it, but there should always be a, you know, there should always be a question. You know, don't ever just buy something blindly. I don't believe in blindly buying from anybody or anything so I'm one who questions religion there are a lot of those who won't dare you know what I mean and that's fine but I question everything I would be the one at the pearly gates Asking questions, or at least, or maybe thinking them, you know. Um, but I think those lack of questions is what leads to, you know, altar boys or whatever being taken advantage of. There's a lot of situations with you know, kids being sexually exploited. Because um, because of blind belief, and that's not the case in every situation. But you know, I'll let you do the research on that. Um, but. When I speak earlier about the solution to what happened in 2019, one solution was the mask. The other solution was the other thing. The other thing that's supposed to be superior to immunity supposed to be superior to natural immunity um, but this is science you know trust the science trust the science trust the science um, why do I bring up trust the science because in my questioning of religion I would point out scientific facts and those who oppose my religious questioning would Oppose science, you know, because it would seem that science is the the the, the rival or the enemy or the um, the thing that would expose. You know, religions. Science is the enemy. In the religion, it, it tells you... Like, imagine you're reading a comic book... And the comic book... Has a mantra, and the mantra is... Hey, there are going to be those who are going to tell you that... 
we're just comic book characters, but don't let them tell you that. Don't believe what they're saying. What we're saying is right. You know, because they're, you know, when you uh, come across the person who's gonna say, bro, like, those are just comic book characters. You don't have to follow everything that they're saying or their teachings or whatever. In your mind, you're gonna be like, man, damn, you know, the comic book characters said you would say this, you know? Those comic book characters warning you about outside entities and science is the outside entity but when you look at God being everything you know I'm of the belief that everything that we needed during that period has already been on this planet for, you know, millions of years, hundreds of millions of years. Not to discount science. You know, science is fantastic. It's phenomenal. It's my favorite thing to study. But... I think as someone who you know would appear to be on the science team instead of the religion team and those who are on the religion team looking at the science team as rivals like bitter rivals I'm not on either team you know I appreciate both but I'm not on either team my point I feel like I'm rambling and I am rambling my point When you blindly buy something, when you blindly buy into something like a religion, this religion can sell you science. This religion can get you to buy science. Just like we saw. I don't know if they're going to take this down, but Google what the Pope said about, you know, those, um, those jabs. Google what the Pope said about those jabs. Seeing that, seeing that article was just eye opening to me. Because I would listen to the radio and people would say, um, you know, I'm, I'm going with God. And then you look at the messenger, the so-called messenger. He's telling you to, you know, you know, go, go, uh, go in the ring and, 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 and uh, get jabbed up. That's a boxing term. We should question everything. 